Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G Bears Off Grid Ways. Uh, not much to really talk about today. It's a nice, clear day, as you can see. Um, there was an earthquake uh, about, uh, I would say, about 40 miles south of here, um, sometime early this morning, and uh, it was a four point something, four point three, I think. And uh, no damage reported as of yet, but uh, I didn't feel it. <laughs> I did not feel a thing. My neighbors uh, contacted, both of them uh, that I know in the area, or two of them I know in the area, both felt it. But uh, they said their houses shook. I didn't feel a thing. Maybe I was walking outside when it hit, that's why. And uh, I wasn't in a building to hear the building make any noises. Anyway, just a short video today. Real short. Real, oh, wait, not real, real short, but real short. <laughs> All right, so what do we got here? Well, the pump motor I got from one of my neighbors. I made this pulley for it. Yeah, this pulley is made from aluminum. And I had some uh, sex, uh, set screws, a box of set screws that I bought at uh, Harbor Freight years ago. And uh, I did, used a quarter 20 by 3 8 and it fit perfect in there. And the uh, shaft on this pump had a flat side on it, so... It fits in there just perfectly. And uh, now I've got a, a motor with a pulley on it so I can drive something. And I'm thinking of, uh, of driving a turntable of some type uh, for um, modeling clay and that stuff. We'll see what I decide. But I also just looked up online and uh, this pump, or <laughs> amazing, this is a transfer pump, and it originally sold for um, almost $220. That's amazing. That's a lot of money. And the only thing wrong with this right now is this Impella. It's got one broken ear on it. And I looked it up, and they do have the Impella as a part that I can order. But... What scares me off, I probably do it anyway, is that they said call us so that we can make sure it's the right Impella and uh, I get, quote you a price. What that means to me is that thing is going to be expensive. <laughs> they just they don't want to give me the price uh, right away. That means that they they really want to uh, sock you for the for the uh, Impella figuring. Well, you're not going to pay another 220 bucks for uh, a whole setup, but you will ma maybe pay $70 for an Impella. Well, I'm going to find out, and I'll let you know what they uh, what they say about that. But, uh, yeah, one way or the other, I'll make use out of the pump. Um, if I did get an Impella, I'd probably order all of the gaskets that go, that go with this anyway, because... Uh, uh, and probably a new plate here, a spacer plate, because this one's burnt from where the uh, impella hit it. And all of the pumps that have this type of impella in it, the transfer type pumps, I'll tell you a secret about those. It does tell you right on all of the instructions of them. You can only run them for about three to five seconds without water in them. So you just want to test to see if the motor runs. You can tap it on a battery and run and that's it, shut it down. But if you run it any longer than that, that's what happens. Is the uh, see see the metal plate in there, and the metal plate on there. They're burnt because it ran without water because it's a rubber or neoprene um, impella, and uh, it generates heat fast without the water lubricating it. So remember that if you ever get one of those transfer pumps. Always make sure it's got water in it before you turn it on. All right. What else did I do today? Well, let me uh, 
head on into the garage here. Well, I went into the motorhome, and since the motorhome doesn't have any batteries that work, I had this uh, two to four thousand watt inverter in there that uh, I had for years and years, and this is the same exact one that I have in my van that I used to build this whole um, homestead out of the van, which, uh, and at the time I only had 45 watts of solar on the roof of the van. Uh, now I've got 200 watts of solar on the roof of the van, and I've got extra vat batteries in there, so I can go even further using this same exact uh, a duplicate of this one in there. And I don't remember what I originally paid for these. I don't think they even sell these anymore. They're modified sine wave, but they're um, a really good inverter as far as I can say. Um, they both the one in my motorhome that I just took out here and the one that's in my van. Uh, been, it's been in this van and the van before and the van before that. So it's been, uh, oh geez, I got 20 years on these things. So good little unit. Um, too bad they don't sell them anymore. But the reason I pulled this and the cables is because I'm going to be setting up a little um, cart that I can haul around uh, for um, portable solar. And I'm trying to get the company that sent me that, uh, that inverter, that little portable inverter, to send me a LifePo battery, 100 amp or so, whatever they, they'll send me, so that I can do that as, as the uh, test example. And I'll show you the whole build from start to finish on how I do that on a little wagon or something. And uh, those of you who are planning to move off grid, you might want to build one of those things for yourself. Or if you have a van, you might want to uh, set up your van like mine is um, so that you can uh, run your power tools out at your homestead. And when you leave, you take your power tools with you. That way you don't have to worry about idiots going over there and stealing your stuff because uh idiots will steal your stuff for some reason the idiots think that just because there's nobody there even though there's a house and uh, shipping containers and uh, motor homes and all that stuff just because there's nobody there anything on the property is free that's uh, that's the way some idiots think so anyway i want to thank you all for joining me don't forget your thumbs ups and don't forget to share and subscribe. G-Bear, signing off.